Hi, I'm Sean. Today I'm replacing my wood slicer blade with a Lennox TriMaster carbide tip blade that I purchased from Highland Woodworking. Let's get to it. These blades are a half inch wide and 93 and a half inches long to fit my 14 inch bandsaw. I chose the half inch wide blade because I will be able to cut smooth, gentle curves and resaw with impeccable accuracy while maintaining the life of the blade. Let's begin with a brief comparison. Here I'm cutting a taper in a construction grade 4x4 post for the leg of a bed. The wood slicer blade cuts very well, it's reasonably quiet when sawing, and there is no drift with a properly tuned bandsaw, which I'll show how to set up now. The first step is to remove the table pin, open the upper and lower wheel covers, release the tension lever, and slightly open up the bearings to allow for the thicker blade. Remember, what you do to the upper guides needs to be done to the lower guides in the same fashion. Now insert the blade such that the teeth are pointing down in the center of the table. Retension the wheel and check the blade's tracking. The deepest part of the blade's tooth gullet should be at the crest of the upper tire. Now bring the bearings back into position. I like to bring them as close to the blade as I can without touching. You can use a feeler gauge if you like. I adjust both sides as equally as I can and the rear bearing is adjusted such that there is 1 32nd of an inch to 3 64ths of an inch of a space between the back of the blade and the bearing. Now close the covers, lower the guide post, and turn the saw on. Don't be alarmed if you see a few sparks fly at first, that's normal. Then I use a stone to relieve the corners on the back of the blade. This allows the blade to cut curves smoothly without dragging in the blade's kerf. When that's complete, I cut the new throat plate, set it in a position, and turn the saw on to cut the last bit. Now let's look at how the Lennox TriMaster carbide tip blade performs. This is a length of 3 inch wide walnut. Take note that this cut is in real time. Notice how clean the cut is? This is a big improvement over the former resaw blade. If you're looking for a good resaw blade for your bandsaw, you can't go wrong with a wood slicer blade. But if you need a blade that'll cut fast, clean, and stay sharp for a long time, then it's worth the step up to the Lennox TriMaster Carbide Tip Blade. I'm Sean, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Sponge and Works. To keep up with current projects, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And for even more news and projects, go to spongeandworks.com. Thanks for watching.